Hey y'all, it's Brad Allen, CEO of The Art of Real Estate. And today we're gonna give you a twofer. We're doing Casey and West Columbia, South Carolina in one video. And I know some of you haters out there are gonna be like, it's two different towns, don't put them together. But to be honest, a lot of people that come to visit here and end up moving here don't really know the difference. They're so co-mingled in their boundaries and their aesthetics that it just is a lot better just to do it together. And what's better than one, but two. And let me tell you, Casey and West Columbia is where it's at right now. Let's start with Casey. It was founded in 1914 as really just a general store called Casey's Crossing. It is legitimately a stone's throw away from the state house, right across the river. And actually it's one of the closest neighborhoods to downtown Columbia that you can get. Casey really has its roots in Mill Village and steel production. So a lot of the houses you're gonna find over here tend to be smaller arts and crafts style bungalows, you know, three to two bedrooms, somewhere between 1,200 to 2,000 square feet. And downtown Casey is a cute little strip that has been revitalized in the past few years, making it one of the top move to destinations in all the Midlands. Casey is awesome because the size of the houses and the price points make it very attractive to first time home buyers, small families, and young professionals. Casey has been seeing a revitalization. These small cute bungalows are being redone and revitalized to bring back their true character and charm, as well as new developments like Congaree Bluffs, Congaree Point, and a couple of others that are upping the price points into the fours and 500,000s. As for attractions in Casey, oh my gosh, has it changed. You've got Steel Hands Brewery, which is just off of Frank Street. That is a fantastic go-to destination on a Saturday if you're looking for some great craft beer and live entertainment. You've got Peacewise Coffee, which is an awesome local roastery. And also you've got Henry's, which is a local Columbia staple when it comes to great American bar food. So let's talk about West Columbia. Founded in 1936, this place is literally about 100 yards from Casey's downtown as the crow flies. And you wanna talk about revitalization? West Columbia is going through that right now. Their main street or state street has really seen an influx of new and awesome restaurants like Cafe Strudel, which is one of my favorite brunch spots in all of Columbia, and the brand new Savage Craft Brewery, which just invested millions of dollars into a great new infrastructure. And I will be remiss if I do not recommend Wico Beer Garden, also Wico, West Columbia. And they have a saying that West is best. And let me tell you, they're bringing it right here into West Columbia. So when it comes to housing in West Columbia, you've got two parts. You've got the old Mill Village bungalow style, 1930s and 40s, which are going through a great revitalization and are at a great price point, starting somewhere in the mid 100s and can creep on up. And then you've got the 378 side by the Botanical Garden. These typically are 1960s and 70s ranch style homes on big lots, a lot of tri-levels, and a lot of great older houses with a lot of charm. Then you've got some neighborhoods that are coming in, like Reserve on Saluda, which is a high-end, super private, exclusive neighborhood right on the Saluda River. West Columbia and Casey's housing market has really been built out of the last half century, but people are starting to find places to pop in single-family new construction homes here and there, as well as some new construction neighborhoods. If you're looking for something to do in West Columbia and Casey, you've got to go to the Riverwalk. It is some of the best, pristine, well-kept and secure walking trails in all of Columbia, right here on the banks of the Congaree and Saluda Rivers. It stretches from Gervais Street all the way down to 77, if you've got that much time, and you can take in all the awesome sights the river has to offer. And saving the best for last, Riverbank Zoo, located right on the shores of the Saluda River, actually spanning both sides with an awesome botanical garden and splash pad, and of course, the zoo. The zoo is one of the top 10 destination zoos in all of America with some of the best natural habitats, newest habitats, and just an all around great place to go. And if you're into water sports, the Congaree, Saluda, and Broad River offer some of the coolest day tubing and whitewater kayaking around. And you don't have to go far. You put in by the zoo and you take out at the river walk, and it is a full day of just relaxing and basking in really nice frigid waters that comes out of the dam of Lake Murray. So if you've liked watching this video as much as I've liked making it, please do us a favor, hit the like and subscribe button so we can keep these awesome area videos coming to your inbox. And if you want more information, check out our videos on top five things to do in West Columbia and Casey and our other area tours.